Hello everyone, this is an update on uh, the pistol that I have been modeling and I just wanted to show off a couple of things from the last video. Um, the slide catcher which is right here, I'm still on the fence about um, actually putting in a few cuts right here to give it a little bit more um, authenticity. So, especially, let me see if I can do it right quick. Uh, right here and right here. I'm going to need three cuts. And what I'm going to do is, make sure I select all these. And I think that I did it on both. Yep. And then I'm going to control delete the ones on the top for a specific reason. I will show. Okay. So basically, just to have like a little, like mini, like slide catcher type thing. I would probably need four cuts, but that's basically what I would do right there. <clears throat> will I need it? Will it, will it be seen inside of a video game? Probably not. But yeah, so this version right here is the very first one that I have made. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, choppy, a lot of hard edges, and um, I really was not too kind. And well too fond of it not too kind and this is the second one I got a couple of my um, inspirations from like Call of Duty I really paid attention to like the zombies and you know what the hammer looked like and a certain look that they were trying to get from the gun and um, now I know the hammer can probably you know come down a little bit but um, to give the gun a little bit more realism I'm gonna start adding in screws and where I'm going to get my ideas from is you got to make sure that you're on the right side of the gun to where you know the screws are correct well, say if I was to use this image right here so one right here, the two that hold the grip and one at the bottom and I'm going to just do this very simple use my auto grid tool make sure I'm in left view Let's put a, a cylinder right there and um, adjust it accordingly no segments in it the height right there is pretty straight and forward um, actually it can it can really be any size because I'm going to just copy it over anyway so I don't have to make four and five of them <clears throat> and to give the screw a bit of um, like round this and just extrude right here and then collapse it and um, once it's collapsed just snatch that vertice right there and move it some and then in order to get the screw to look the way you want it to look I can like easily get an image once I put it in Photoshop and just put the screw directly on top of it and add a little bit of like, light into it <clears throat> and then from here, from left view, you can just control grab that. It's going to copy it, put one right there, and then select OK. Put one right here, select OK, and put one right there. Now, the two that's inside, which is this one. I might have to do a little bit more work on for the simple fact that um, I'm gonna have to mimic them to actually look like they're actually screwed on. Now there is one in here.
go back to left view so it's not moving all crazy and I'm in left view because you know when you're in perspective um, it moves a bit differently but left view it's not gonna really move to three-dimensional because um, this is acting weird hey there we go all right so back to perspective as you can see I've added in my uh, screws now I'm going to um, manually stitch the screws inside of the grips right here but this is just like the basis of what will be happening and now to make life easier I can attach these screws to each other tips and tricks say like, no nah, this is not no um, this is this is not no commentary so I can uh, use symmetry and copy it or mirror it on the z-axis which will put it on the other side of the model and then move it to where I think that it is um, in the right area and then from here there you go so this is the, f the second version of the pistol that I've been trying to create uh, I've gotten many of ideas of what I wanted to do using different um, techniques see how far that comes out I might even use a different um, trigger I know this piece right here I wanted to do something different you see the slide right there where it would catch um, I wanted to do something different as far as the ridges that's right here maybe in the front add something extra I know the clip I'm gonna try to be a little bit fancy with the uh, clip just for the fun of it but yeah this is what I have so far again this is this is not a tutorial it's basically an update um, but I will do tutorials if uh, if I have the time to really sit down and go through it now I could just record myself modeling but uh, you have to really like it does take time and uh, it does take a lot of going back and you have to be precise at what you're saying and really know the direction that you're going when you're trying to model all this is basically freehand because I already did it once with this version right here I really didn't like it it is on my website um, but I will be taking it off no actually I'm gonna leave it on and then I'm gonna bring the new version uh, to it to my website possibly uh, by like the end of the month now I am let me save this if I have enough time I am working on a uh, a different shotgun a short barrel shotgun I've been working on this for quite some time now and um, this is what I have so far I wanted to change the back of it I did have one for my senior project really wasn't what I really wanted it to be but this is the basis for what I've been doing with the short barrel shotgun still learning still trying to get uh, my skill sets together I don't know why the symmetry is I can buggy like that I may have uh, messed it up myself but that's fine so it's no big deal it's nothing that I can't fix um, yeah so rate subscribe I will be putting up more videos I'm trying to get together gameplay to put up um, I do have my two clan videos up uh, from the psycho ward we do body noobs on Xbox along with other clans. If you want to hit us up, uh, our clan tags are in the video. You can come play or, you know, get body, whatever. Alright, peace.